G golly gosh um this will probably be the first time I've ever done a theory on this channel first time ever doing something like this and this is how we come back from a long hiatus Jesus Christ What's up my gamers and welcome back to a new video. I know I promised board gameplays, but I have a live stream planned sometime during this weekend as school kind of caught up with me and I have to do a whole lot of work before that starts. But other than that, a new music video, well kind of music video, it's like, it's kind of like a uh, one of those little slideshows that they have. One of those slideshows that was released on the Sonic the Hedgehog YouTube channel and it shows off Metal Sonic's theme, the US version of Stardust Speedway from Sonic CD. And it's the remix. It's a remix. And gee, oh my god, I love this remix. Oh my god. I know a few other people that said that they adored this remix. I know a few people who are like, wow, US version? Well, that's a first. We're always doing Japanese version. And you have a few people who are like, oh, what about what about chaos or or shadows theme uh bring back bring back throw it all away or or for true story or open your heart you know stuff like that but you know what i'm one of those outsiders that thinks about everything else surrounding it and as i was looking through this this slideshow and listening to the music of course i was just observing everything happening in the background like I'm just looking at the battle going on, in a few pictures, you can see Sonic chasing after Metal Sonic. Now, this brought up a few questions in my head, and a few, and a few outside things. And the main thing that kept on popping up in my head was that this looks just like the Silver Battle from Sonic Generations, but with Metal Sonic. And it looks like a completely different area of uh, City Heights, or Park Avenue, City Heights from Modern Sonic. But that raised three main questions one don't we fight shadow in city heights like that was shown off in some of the gameplays uh but that's not really one of my biggest one of my biggest questions two oh my god if you look at if you look at metal sonic it looks almost as if he was hypnotized or something by infinite Cause you know how Infinite has those like little red boxes and stuff like that, and, and how he's all glitchy and stuff like that, almost like a uh, freaking freaking Vanellope Von Von Schweetz or whatever from Wreck-It Ralph. You know, it's a little glitch. You know, you know how he has that floating around him. Well, Metal Sonic has that too. And I'm not gonna just jump into anything right now, but I'm just making a prediction. I want to think that Infinite will quote betray and i'm putting up air quotes even though you guys can't see me on camera because i'm not going to do a face reveal i'm putting up air quotes betray eggman like every other thing that eggman's unleashed or made and have everything turn against him or will go through with trying to kill sonic obliterate everything that he loves finish off what eggman started already taking over the world and just hypnotize or mind control all the other characters just like shadow chaos you know zavik it looks like that's what's going to happen based on what's going on with metal sonic right here and yeah that that's it just looks insane right now and i'm like it we haven't even seen full motion gameplay but metal sonic sort of has like these little pinkish purple spheres surrounding him when he's battling sonic and i'm going to assume that he's going to launch them at sonic to try to slow him down because again if you look at some of the pictures, you can see Sonic traveling far behind um, Metal Sonic. And I'm not gonna, I'm, I don't really want to assume that Sonic, because it could be an OC that looks like Sonic. Uh, like you can see, because it's kind of a spec. I can't zoom in because they have like the the what's the names? I don't, I don't know what to call them. Little bars for the music. They have those in the way, so you can't really see much. And not only that, but even if they were removed, he's very far away. So you know, I don't want to assume too much. But yeah, it looks like uh, Metal Sonic's hypnotized. And uh, jumping into number three, uh, 
if this is kind of like the silver battle, what can we expect from other boss battles? And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that since Chaos is in like Chaos Zero form, it's kind of like the first battle from Adventure 1, but with a few things change. But I don't want it to just be like things we've seen before. I want the boss battle to take a completely different change. Like what they did with Metal Sonic's battle in Sonic Mania. That was amazing. They brought back Silver Sonic from Sonic. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was beautiful. I could not have asked for more. It was a Sonic fan's dream to see so many little references. I mean, sure, it got it caught up with them eventually in some parts of Sonic Mania, but still, it was so refreshing. It was something that people wanted, and now I'm seeing Sonic Four. You know, it was like Sonic Mania kind of spoiled us for what's to be expected next time, or like as far as the Sonic series goes, kind of spoiled us. So this isn't really me being picky or or being a spoiled brat. But I'm just hoping that the boss battles have something new to offer. I don't want to see a rehash of, oh, Shadow's Battle from Generations. Or, you know how Zavik turned into that rip-off Bowser monster from, from, from freaking Lost World. But you know what? There you go. It's right there. There you go. And it's stamped on. Seal of approval. And I don't want to see freaking Perfect Chaos again. That boss was amazing. And I love the music. But I don't want to see that again. I thought this was like non-Generations 2. I want to see originality, I want to see, frick, I want to see brand new stuff, I don't want anything from the past games, kind of, sort of, I just want to see those concepts, if you're going to take them, reuse them, whatever, just make sure you make them new, like what they did with Green Hill Zone, um, or Sandy Hill, whatever. I'm looking at it, and as far as I can tell, you come back to that level throughout the game. And, of course, this information is going to be outdated as soon as the game comes out. But I'm looking at the level, and it looks like you're going to be coming back to it throughout the whole game. But it gets even more drained each and every time. Because, you know, at first you had Classic Sonic. It was nice, lush green. You had sand in the background. I don't really think that's sand. It might be sand. I might just be stupid. But what if that was water and it got all the light, like the color drained out of it? And then you go on to the to the, uh, the the custom character stage. You see, it still has that green there, but it's sort of like sucked out. You know, it's it's okay. It's okay. It's still Green Hill, whatever. But then you got the tag team gameplay. We haven't even seen Modern Sonic. We got the tag team gameplay. It's all yellow, tan everywhere. You see almost no specks of green in throughout, throughout that whole area. Almost everything is mechanized. Eggman has just took over the area. Frick. Oh my god. That stage. At first I was like, okay, it's Green Hill. And you know, sometimes it's nice to have a little Green Hill. They like reskin. Whatever you could possibly do. Because it's an introduction to the game. It's what you want to expect. But if you take that idea. And this is something that, that I'm getting pretty interested in. If you take the Green Hill idea. And shift that concept throughout the game. I won't care how many times we come back to it. I really won't care. As long as you set the ball for how the rest of the game is going to be. Coming back like freaking replayability. You come back to the stage you're like oh my god it's this stage again. But then you come back to the stage you're like oh my god it's this stage again. And you just love it. You want more of it. These games in 2017 they're spoiling us. First you have Breath of the Wild. Biggest Zelda game to date you have mario odyssey coming out looks like one of the best 3d marios in a while oh my god you got sonic mania first time we're having a true 2d callback in more than 15 years then you got sonic forces the tag team gameplay i need to mention this this is a discussion slash theory video tag team gameplay oh my god not a single part from what i've seen was 2d that was full 3d it seems like this game is going to be, you know, you got 3D, you got 2D, and you got 2, this is like half 2D, half 3D. All those gameplay styles mesh together. Oh my god, I'm excited. Mmm. Mmm. But, that's all I really have to say. Except for one more theory. Now, I wanted to put this at the end 
for those who managed to make it this far. But it's just it's just a small theory for my Sonic fans out there to debate. Don't hate me for this. Don't get mad. Be like, you're stupid. You're incorrect. Freak. Because remember, it's kid-friendly channel. But I'm just going to leave this theory in here. You know, just for kicks and giggles. What if... And stay with me on this. What if... You know how Sonic Mania ended? I'm Spoilers alert. Spoiler alert. Don't watch if you haven't completed the true ending of Sonic Mania. Have they gone? Anyway, you know how Sonic Mania ended with the true ending? How Sonic blasted off into the, uh, the freaking Forces universe? Time traveled, whatever. I, he's from a different dimension. I highly doubt that that's past Sonic. You know how he traveled dimensions? What if... Again, stay with me on this. What if Infinite was actually the Phantom Ruby from Sonic Mania? I know, I know, it's stupid. It's stupid. Why could I po Why would I possibly believe this? It's too freaking stupid. Nobody would actually believe that. But people have been speculating. What is that thing in Infinite's chest? And you know, if Infinite's able to bring back things from the past or different dimensions, like Shadow or different stages, you know, stuff like that. If he's able to do all that, doesn't that raise the question... What if that thing in Infinite Chess isn't actually the Phantom Ruby? What if Infinite is the Phantom Ruby? He's a corrupted version of the Phantom Ruby. Did, did you ever think about that? Like, if that is the case, I swear, if that is the case, Mania would be the best prequel and Sonic Forces is setting the bar. I'm hoping that this game is going to be trash because if it's good... If it's even mediocre, I will freaking love the story. Because so far, this story is looking really good. It has so much... By far, all these speculations are leading me to believe that the story is going to have so much depth. Oh my god. I don't want to be too overly excited just to be disappointed. Because that's happened in the past. People were like, oh my god, Sonic Boom looks like a good step in a good direction. And then Rise of Lyric came out. We're, we're not we're not going to talk about that. Anyway, um, if the story is going to be intense, I'm going to absolutely love it. But that is all I have for you guys today. I've gone on long enough. Discussions, I don't like long discussions. I kind of get bored in the middle, especially if there's nothing to watch. But I hope you guys take what I say into consideration. Actually think upon yourself. Be like... What if this guy is actually right? Or, hmm, maybe this guy is wrong, but he does have a few ideas that could possibly work. I want you guys to think about that and, and just keep thinking until this game is released November 9th. Oh my god, that release date. Like a week or two after freaking Super Mario Odyssey. I'm going to be so excited. It's going to have me jam-packed with games for the rest of the holiday season. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my live stream coming up this weekend. I'm not going to schedule it. Probably going to be on. It's probably going to be on YouTube. Yeah. Peace out, my gamers. Yeah.